You never went to Sydney in those days with any sense of optimism. That was so hard to beat up there. Three and zip, both teams. Um, we were in good form in the start of 2000. Like I always knew that when I was going back to Sydney to play, it was going to be pretty hostile because of the, the circumstances of, of how I left, uh, left there. And, and I reckon every time that I've gone back to play in Sydney, I haven't had the greatest of games. So Sydney to the left, Stafford's been in terrific nick early, Anthony Rocker, one of a number of players out there tonight who have played for both clubs. But there... The early days in that 2000 season were optimism, hope, blue sky, see what we can do. We were wooden spooners the year before and new coach coming in, so clearly everyone's on their t on tender hooks and making sure that you're, you're ready to go. And there's no doubt that you know we played some really solid footy early days. We're counting down, here comes the siren, Collingwood! over their rivals by 73 points. I don't think I had a particularly good game uh, the first time I played against Sydney. I believe after you know, a couple of times and with experience, I understood and, and learned how to deal with that. You know, coming back from being homesick in Sydney and coming back with family, well, I think was a real boon for him to be around his brother. Those things all serve to impact you as a person, let alone as a footballer. So it took a while for Peps to to really grow into himself and believe in himself. But just when he did, there was um, there was no stopping him. Well, I think him and Bucks um, were just super important to us. I think, and especially Anthony as a, as a leader and his size and strength in the forward line, I think he just got better and better each year as well. I think he's, um, you know, sort of one of the, you know, the sort of great forwards that we've had at the Pies. Started his career here, left after a couple of seasons to play with his brother in Melbourne. And uh, no doubt about it. So two goals to Collingwood. A lot of Collingwood fans would have thought, oh, well, this is going to be the reality check, but you know, hopefully we'll, we'll be competitive and do well. And we were so much more than that. The game was a, an incredible game in terms of it was close the whole game. And uh, I managed to sort of sneak a couple of goals myself and being quite young. Um, and experiencing the Sydney um, environment as well in terms of the SCG and the size of the ground and uh, they were quite a mature side so and very hard to beat at home as they, as they still are. I just remember the game um, at each break was like really tight, it was either you know one or two points or, or a goal in it so there wasn't much in the game at every break. Obrey out wide to Lane, Lane measures it, it's close, it's a goal, scores a level! Siren, can you believe it? <laughs> what a game. We pushed them and it was tight, it was a high scoring affair. We both ended up just over 100. But it looked like they were gonna break our hearts. Wayne Swass had a, a shot late in the game. He had a long shot at goal and it looked like it was a goal, but um, you can't tell by the vision. It looks like it gets touched on the line and um, there's a little bit of debate about it. The goal umpire went to the ground. He's uncertain, the boundary umpires come in, the field umpire. I think it's a point, I think it's touched, but it's pretty tough. At that stage, the runners are coming out saying, yeah, there's a minute to go, there's less than two minutes to go, and, and it's, it's all just another little bit of information that you take in. But it was clear that we needed to be aggressive and go down the middle. Oh, this is a play to Rocker. There is a minute to go. Glenn Freeborn, as he normally, the cool, calm, collected uh, guy he is, has come up to me and said, mate, just take your time, we haven't got much left. Probably in saying that probably makes you a little bit more nervous. Because he'd copped such a hard time from Sydney players and Sydney fans when he came back from the Swans to Collingwood. And I just thought, oh man, this would be such a good way for you to stick it up then. I believe there's always pressure, but it's just how you deal with it. And the more you feel comfortable in your routine, you're just going to thrive for it. He's taken a long time. This will probably be the last play of the night. It's going and going and going. Rock has kicked it. Collingwood are in front. They haven't won here for six years. Flat and they haven't won here for six years. And there's less than a half a minute to go. Pebs always had the habit of uh, just kicking through the ball. So. I think it ended up going about 25 metres into the crowd because the adrenaline would have been pumping for it. Even then, I didn't know how long there was until they went to the bounce and you saw there was only 16 seconds left. And it was, it was a massive, massive win. And again, a massive turning point for a, a developing team. If you're talking about 
moments that make someone. I mean, Anthony was a very talented player, but through the early 2000s it built to his belief in himself and his capacity to impact games. And a moment like that, taking a moment like that, we've got to kick off the siren to win a game, that, that feeds belief in your capacity to be able to handle pressure and be the guy that makes a difference. People talk about the rapid rise from wooden spooners to grand finalists in 02. These were the baby steps. These were the very first steps in that journey. And it doesn't all happen in 2002. What happened in 2000 and 2001 were the stepping stones. It was a good feeling. It was a good feeling after the game and at the end of the game. I remember, well, I think we sang the, the song pretty loud in the, in the change rooms. I think he's still underrated about what he provided to that team through the early 2000s. And, you know, whether it's in the ruck or as a key forward, whether it was actually by deed or just his presence amongst the group, because he was loved by all. Anthony was a, you know, he's still to this day a much underrated player.